Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, people on Facebook, WCC, all my subscribers on YouTube. You know who I am, and it's time, like you saw in the opening, for WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view picks. Money in the Bank is live this Sunday night from the old bingo hall. I'm just kidding. In the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it will be the fourth annual Money in the Bank. We have eight matches, some of which are on the pay-per-view, one is on the pre-show, and let's talk about the one on the pre-show. It will be for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Championship, as The Shield, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns take on The Usos and Jay and Jimmy. Now, I like The Usos, but there is no way I'm picking them to win this one. I think The Shield going to win this one. I'm happy The Usos are getting somewhat of a push now, but I think The Shield will win this. You know, and it's kind of upsetting, and this is on the pre-show, but what it is what it is. One match had to fall to it, and it was either going to be this or the Divas title. And unfortunately, I know this is going to piss off a lot of the Shield people, but the Divas title has a more of a storyline to it instead of this one, I mean. But Shield will win this one. Moving to the pay-per-view card now, let's talk about the match I was just talking about. The WWE Divas Championship as AJ Lee defends her belt against Kathleen. Or Caddy. Whatever her fucking name is. I can't pronounce it and I know it. Sue me. Uh, I'm going to pick AJ Lee to win this one and keep the belt. Um, and I will say this has been a very good Diva storyline. I think I said it last month for uh, the last preview and I'm going to say it for this one. I actually give a shit on the Divas Championship match. Usually that would be my bat my bathroom break, but it, I actually give a damn about this one. Um, but like I said, I'm taking AJ Lee. Um, I just like she's on a roll right now. Best set there. Uh, next, for the Intercontinental Championship, it will be Curtis Axel defending the belt against The Miz. Now, Miz almost won it at the last pay-per-view, but Curtis Axel stole the win. So this is one-on-one. -on -one. Now, Axel has some impressive some great victories, but he just lost his first match on Monday night to Chris Jericho. Will that play a key factor? Knowing that he has lost. He's not on that momentum anymore. Can Paul Heyman keep him in check? That's going to be the question. Now, I like The Miz. Anybody knows I'm a Miz fan. I mean, I have his theme song on my cell phone. But, with that being said, I believe, um... Triple, I believe WWE is high on Curtis Axel. I think he's going to win this match and keep the title. You know, Miz will do, give it his best shot, but I believe Axel will somehow walk out as champion. So Axel's going to win this. Next, Y2J, Chris Jericho takes on the Cryback. I mean, the Rybitch. I mean, Ryback. Yeah, I feel sorry for Jericho in this one. I, I want to pick Chris Jericho so bad. I know my buddy Greg, who's who's probably going to be watching this, he's probably going to chew my ass out for this, but I got to take the right bitch on this one. Uh, we, I just feel that um, um, Jericho is there to, uh, to push the younger talent, and you know I don't think Ryback has any talent whatsoever. Yeah, I just think Jericho's going to lose. I mean, to be honest, I feel this is going to look like Chris Jericho versus Bill Goldberg from Bad Blood. It's going to be bad. I'm going to already say, and I don't even need to watch any match from this, that's probably going to be the worst match on the card, just because of the fact, in my humble opinion, Ryback has no talent. Okay, I'd rather see JTG or Zack Ryder get this fucking spot. Because at least then I would be entertained. You know, I hate both of them equally. Next, well, next, we already know what we're talking about. The two Money in the Banks. Let's start with the one for SmackDown. Widow gets a guaranteed contract shot at the World Champion anytime, any place. It would be Wade Barrett versus Cody Rhodes versus Damian Shandow versus Dean Ambrose versus Fine Dango versus Jack Swagger versus Antonio Cesaro. Now I'm just going to throw these three guys just right out the door. Because I don't. Um, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, until you save that mustache, you ain't going to be favored to win. Fandango, you just came back from concussion. Yeah, I don't see WWE, I don't see WWE putting the briefcase on you this quick coming back. And Swagger, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I thought you were going to be right next to Aaron Hernandez. 
because of the DUI, but apparently not. Um, I still think WWE is not going to push you right now. I think this you're going to be punished and you're not going to win this match. So that just leaves four, and I think the top four people I think everyone's either picking is either Wade, Shandow, Ambrose, or Cesaro. By the way, this is an old heel money in the bank. Go figure. Um, I'm going to eliminate Shandow just because, you know, he is getting a push. I don't think he's there yet. You know, I do like everyone, it, ironically enough, I like everyone in this World Heavyweight title match. So you could say almost anyone you would want somewhat of a favorite. But I don't think Shandow could win. I think he'll be like maybe the fourth one. And then we get to Dean Ambrose. And I know I'm going to piss off Heather. I know I'm going to piss off you, Greg. And probably everybody else who's fucking watching this who's a S.H.I.E.L.D. member and kisses their ass. No offense to you two. Um, I don't think Dean's going to win it. As everyone's been saying, oh, they're going to push him. Here's my problem. I believe if you push him too quickly, it could hurt him. Okay? We've seen in times past where they've pushed a superstar too quickly and the fans retaliated. Granted, the fans have not done that yet. But I would just feel safer in not doing it. Okay, he's U.S. champion. That's that's another reason I don't think he would win it. Yeah, I know when Miz won and he was U.S. champion, but those were that was a different that was with different circumstances then. I just don't think Dean's gonna win it as long as he's U.S. champion. Plus, I firmly believe, as I said, I think him and Christian will be facing off during the summer for the uh, U.S. Uh, summer Slam for the U.S. title before Ambrose goes against the Wyatt family. So that leaves two people left. Wade Barrett and Antonio Cesaro. Now, both of them, I believe, from talking to everybody, these are the two top favorites. With everyone loves Antonio Cesaro, as I as I do I, but everybody also knows Wade Barrett was supposed to win the Money in the Bank a few years ago till he got hurt, and he met in that battle warrior with, with Big Show in it. And I'm going to take Wade Barrett on this one. I think Antonio Cesaro will be a close second, if you could even say there is a second place in this one. Um, I think wait, this is WWE is going to. Um, Give Wade the push that he would have got if he didn't get injured. And this is going to be the start of it. Um, and people got to remember. You know Vince Yes is running. Triple H and William Regal both like Wade Barrett. I don't like bringing up backstage shit too much. But yeah I got to pick Wade on this one. Um, as far as for my dark horse pick in this match. I'm going to say Swagger. Just I, I keep bouncing forth between Fandango and Swagger. But I'm going to say Swagger. Just because of the fact of that, that whole DUI thing in Florida and everything. I don't think he's got a shot. But again, that's my opinion. After that, we got the Money in the Bank for the WWE Championship contract. It is CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton versus Sheamus versus Christian versus Kane versus some guy named Rod Van Dam. I, I never heard of him. I, I, I don't know. I, I, let, me, let, me call my, uh, let me call Greg up to see if he knows him. Greg ain't answering. Um, here's the thing. Everybody and the fucking mother is taking Mr. Rob Van Dam just because it's in Philadelphia. But I'm sorry, I've been saying it since the promo started, and I'm going to keep with my humble of fucking opinion. Rob Van Dam is only there for two fucking things. One, a paycheck. Two, to do a fucking high spot off the ladder. He's taking Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston's place. I'm going to say it right now. Right, and this is what I think is going to happen. Whoever wins it, it's going to be because Rob Van Dam is stupid. Rob Van Dam is going to get up to the briefcase. He's about to get it. Then he does this shit and does a five-star fog splash and lands on somebody. Stupid. And if that happens, you're welcome. Uh, so with Rob Van Dam out of the way, I'm going to push Kane out of the way as well. And I'm going to push... Christian, just because, like I said a few minutes ago, I think him and Dean Ambrose will be feuding. So that leaves Punk, Brian, Orton, and Sheamus. I'm going to eliminate Sheamus. I don't like the fucker. He's my dark horse pick in this match. Because I don't think I don't think he's going to have a shot of hell winning it. Um, so Sheamus, you're gone. Go eat a box of fucking Lucky Charms, you stupid son of a bitch. That leaves us three. Brian, Punk, and Orton. I'm going to eliminate Punk. Because I think we can all agree that, yeah, he'll probably be feuding with Brock Lesnar. So, Punk, step aside. At least two. Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan. Now, Randy Orton did bring up a good point. He has not had a WWE, he has not been champion in two years. Two years. Um, 
And everyone's expecting Odin to win. I know Daniel Bryan's also a favorite. And I'm taking Daniel Bryan on this one. Um, he's been red hot. And I'm going to say it. Last year, it, it, everything was about CM Punk. I think this year, starting at Money in the Bank and continuing to the ride is over is going to be known as the year of Daniel Bryan or year of the goat face or whatever you want to call him. I'm taking Daniel Bryan to win this one. Sheamus is my dark horse in this match. Next. For the World Heavyweight Championship rematch time, it's about to Rio taking on Dolph Ziggler. Now, I'm I'm taking Ziggler on this one. Uh, I know everyone's gonna go wild to keep bouncing the belt along. I think Ziggler's prime. I think since he's not hurt now, yeah, give it to him. Plus, here's the problem, and I want everyone to go back to this Monday Night Raw and the Raw last week as well. I bet it Rio's ring. Announcer is suspended or whatever he's doing. I don't know suspended taking a vacation whatever Last week and particularly on Monday he got booed Now he didn't he didn't get booed and he didn't get cheered. You know what he got nothing. He didn't get shit Okay, I'm sorry Sin Cara got a bigger pop than you on Monday Del Rio and this is what a problem I'm seeing now. I don't think a lot of the Del Rio fans and I am one will admit you took his ring announcer away. That took, uh, the, I think, a lot of the heat away from Del Rio. I mean, just take a look. No one gave him a, re a response. It was so fucking quiet, you could have heard crickets having sex for crying out loud. It was so quiet, you could have heard Zack Ryder and JTG bitching in the back. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Ziggler on this one. Should be very good. Uh, should be a good match since Ziggler's going to be at 100%. Hopefully, it does justice. Now, the main event, John Cena takes on Mark Henry. This has been interesting because Cena has been acting, not, been acting a little scared with Henry. Henry seems to be the dominant favorite in this match. I mean, I've, I sit in WCC on some of the conference calls. Uh, John Cena is looking like that scared white kid on the basketball team. If that offended anybody, I somewhat apologize. Um, yeah, Cena... Uh, everyone knows I'm not a big Cena fan. Um, I, I, I don't like him, and you know, it has nothing to do with his ring work or mic. It's his character, to be honest. I find it dull and boring. Um, I'm going to take Mark Henry on this one to win the title, um, which would be nice. I mean, I'm going to be honest. If Mark Henry does win it, he will join Punk, Kane, and The Big Show as the only people to win the WWE, the World Heavyweight, and the ECW title. Yeah, I know. And yeah, I know. If Christian wins money in the bank and he cashes in, he could do it too. But yada yada yada. Um, yeah, I'm taking Mark Henry to win the belt. So my pitch is to go over them one more time. I got the Shield retaining the tag belts. AJ Lee retaining the Divas title. Ah, excuse me. Curtis Axel retaining the Intercontinental Championship. The Rye Bitch winning his match. Wade Barrett and uh, Daniel Bryan walking out with the money in the bank, respectively. Dolph Ziggler winning the World Heavyweight Championship. And Mark Henry becoming WWE Champion. Those are my official picks for Money in the Bank. Let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know. And until next time, this is the DOUG signing out saying, Have a good week and enjoy Money in the Bank. Woo!